Hello, people of YouTube. I have fallen off the ball. Sadly, yes. I just crashed. I did a cheat day. And it turned into another cheat day. Which turned into another cheat day. And I realized that I've got to have a good balance of eating healthy, but also incorporating foods that I actually like. And certain things like giving myself a treat every now and then so that I don't feel completely deprived. Because I was doing so awesome and then I'm like, nope, crash. But anyways, I was watching a video from Ariel from Icon for Hire today. And she was talking about her purpose like purpose in life and how sometimes we have passions and it may not exactly be in our day job but we can do it on the time off of our day jobs and it's like really just it's not always about having a calling but just doing what you're passionate about and finding ways to do that in your free time even though it may not be at your day job but that was really awesome to me because I me and my friend Angelica had been talking about it and so it was really nice to have that point of view from her her being a rock star <laughs> and she was talking about how she had thought about becoming a nurse because she wanted to help people but she's passionate about being a rock star and so I was kind of doing this the other day because I am going to law school next fall and I almost I had this moment <laughs> I called my sister I was like let's go to Starbucks we need to talk because I want to be a nutritionist and it was kind of like these it's something that I'm passionate about but <clears throat> that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be something that I'm doing with my life and so whereas law I've worked really hard to get where I'm at now so to just completely like go uh, and abandon it I just think that it wouldn't put me in the place that I think it would because I really just feel like law is where I'm supposed to be and what I want to be doing and even though I may not be incredibly passionate about it I'll be doing other things in my spare time that I'm passionate about and I've really enjoyed I know I don't have many viewers but you that are out there thank you <laughs> but I've actually really enjoyed just kind of having this video diary even though not a lot of people are watching it just kind of to talk things out because I feel like we need that sometimes like there's some of us that we have good friends and we have family members to talk to but sometimes we just need to vent about certain things or just kind of talk to yourself in a way kind of like developing yourself and I feel like that's what's been really awesome about YouTube for me and I've just been going through some that thing where <laughs> after you graduate with your bachelor's, I just graduated with my bachelor's in international studies and I have just been like, okay, I graduated but I don't have a job and everybody asks you, oh, so why are you still working at a meat market? Like, you're a failure. But at the same time it's like I'm going to law school I'm going to have a purpose it's just I'm taking a little bit of time off and that's okay I was just I've just been so stressed about it and frustrated that kind of what other people are saying but kind of myself because I'm like well did you choose the wrong program did you not do things correctly where you would have been in law school this fall instead of next fall but I think that being where I'm at and everything that I've gone through in this past year has been crazy and terrible and some good stuff <laughs> but um 
I feel like I kind of have needed this time off mentally. And so even though I'm not working in my field yet, I'm getting there. And, and I went in and talked with my advisor, and she really just kind of brought me back down to earth. <laughs> she was like, look, she's like, you just need to start prepping for the LSAT. That needs to be your only focus. Don't worry about getting another job that's just going to be like at the same level. Because basically right now that's what I would be doing is just going to the same level at a different place instead of actually... Because I could get a semi-decent job, but since I'm going to law school, I don't really see a point in that. And I'm not going to be able to work through law school so I'm going to be going full time. So there's that. <clears throat> but I just really, that really helped me when she sat me down and she's like, look, okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> You're not in a really bad place right now. You just got to make things, other, other things your focus. And I feel like sometimes I just really focus on the negative and the things that I let my frustrations get to me a little bit too much. Instead of weighing the positives more and it can really put you in a bad state of mind I think because especially when it comes to like your confidence as a person I feel like that's really been something that I kind of was good for a while I was like super confident in myself but then like a lot of things happened and I kind of just lost that confidence because I felt kind of like a failure. But I kind of just really went into those failure things. Like, oh, you're terrible at Spanish. Or, oh, why did you pick this degree? Or, why are you still at this job? And I just kind of let those feed on me. And, like, while maybe I do need to make some changes, it was still... I was still going too much and letting those things control me. And so... I'm really just in a lot better place right now. And yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> Bye.